Hi, Janet here from the Tips team, and today we're going to look at Google Classroom from the perspective of using it on an iPad. So as you can see, I'm on my iPad right now, and I've actually moved my Google Classroom icon right down into my toolbar so I can access it quickly. So I'm going to click on there. It's open my Google Classroom, and let's create a new class. So I'm going to go Add, Create a Class. And I don't feel like using this keyboard to type, so I'm going to use speech to text to create my class. So let's create a class and click on my microphone. And create. Once this class is created, we'll be able to add an assignment to it. Okay, here we are in our new test class 2019. I'll maybe just share a little welcome message, and of course, I still don't feel like typing, so I'll click in the box and press the microphone. Well, it looks great, but I think I should change the period to an exclamation mark, so let's edit it. Three dots, edit. Erase, microphone. There we go. Now let's take a look at the layout of the classroom. If you look along the bottom, I have my stream, I have my classwork, and I have my people. So let's add an assignment to this class. So I'll go into my classwork page, click the plus sign, add an assignment. Okay, let's call uh, this assignment assignment number one, and we can ask students to take a photo of their work and upload it to their classroom. So microphone. Okay, so our first assignment has been posted and we'll have to go in as a student and see what it looks like when the student um, completes that assignment. But before we do that, we'll post one more assignment where we'll ask the student to comment about the photo that they uploaded in the last assignment. This way you can see how we can attach from Drive just as we would in a Chromebook. So we'll go to our classwork, plus assignment, attach from Drive, and I'm just going to search for assignment two. Why did you choose this photo? And we would like it to be to all students. Okay, that's view. Students can edit file view, make a copy for each student. There we go. And post. Okay, so what we have done is we've created a class We've put a welcome message to the class. We've created a couple of assignments, one where the student posts a photo and one where the student writes about their process of choosing that photo. Now we need to go in and sign in as a student and complete the assignments. Before we log in as a student, we'll need to go and grab the class code. So I will click into my settings and here's my class code. If I click on the three dots, I can disable it or reset it, but if I click on the code itself and hold my finger, it will actually copy it to my clipboard. So I'm now going to close out of settings and switch over to a student account. Okay, I'm going to click the plus sign and let's paste the class code and join that class. Of course, in an actual situation, you would place the class code up on the board and students would log in on their iPads or on their smartphones. I've now come in as the student, Amanda, and I'm going to click on assignment one. Take a photo of your work and upload it to Classroom. All right, let's take a photo of my work. So I'm going to click on add attachment and use camera. And I'm going to find a photo of my work. Happy springtime, Edmonton. And use photo. And as you can see, it's automatically attaching my photo to my classroom submission. Add a private comment. Sure, I'll use the microphone. and turn in. As you can see, I could have added more than one attachment. 
Okay, the assignment has been attached and handed in to the teacher. Now I'm going to go back. I've completed assignment number one, and now I'm going to do assignment number two. Click into assignment two, and it says write about the process that you took in deciding which photo to post for assignment number one. So I'm gonna click on my document. Let's click on the little pencil. Now I can either click on the pen in the top right corner and I can write or draw with, um, with my finger or with a pen and I'll show you that process in just a minute when I go through as the teacher again. Or what I'd like to do is complete this using the speech to text. So I'm going to bump it out and it will open in my docs app. Okay, so now I can click edit and I now have Google Docs open on my iPad, or it could be on an iPhone. I'm going to click my uh, microphone and respond to the question. Looks good. I could always go in there and make changes with the, um, with the speech to text or simply by typing on the keyboard on this iPad, but I'm gonna leave it as it is for now. And um, so I will click the little checkbox. I'm gonna double click my button to go back into classroom. Now I'm going to say turn in. Okay, so we have handed in number two, we've got the check mark. Let's go take a look at what this, how this appears for the teacher. Okay, we're back in the classroom now as the teacher and I'm gonna take a look at my assignments. So I'm gonna click in assignment number one. And sure enough, I can see that Amanda's handed in her assignment. Of course, all the students in the class would be listed on the left-hand side. And so I can open her picture. Happy Springtime Edmonton. And I would like to uh, make some comments on it. So I'm going to click into the little pencil. So as you can see, I can scroll down the picture. I can click on the next little pencil. And you can see along the bottom, I have a toolbar of different kinds of pens, pencils, highlighter, and eraser, as well as a text tool and a tool where I can um, place a little box. Perhaps I want to write some text just in the corner with the text tool. I'm going to annotate. I have a pen here. I could use my finger also. So I'm going to click on um, this pen here. If I hold it down for a few seconds, the tool box will expand and I can choose the thickness of the pen that I'd like to use, the color, and um, so let's do that. Maybe we'll go like that. Okay, so I like your positivity here. I hope it's really spring. Okay, and save. So as you can see, the teacher can open up a photo of student work and can annotate directly on that work. So it's very much marking old school style, but in a new school kind of way. You've suddenly taken that bag of heavy marking and um, placed it into your iPad. So uh, we'll give her a mark, um, so add grade, We'll give her 100% and return. Okay, let's look at her other assignment and you'll see the same thing as possible. So I'll open assignment number two. Student work is on her doc. And just in the same way as Amanda was able to touch the uh, little square in the top corner there and open it up in docs, and respond in docs. You can do the same thing as the teacher. So you could respond in docs. You could write your comments down the side of the page in docs, um, however you like. But let's say you'd like to annotate directly on the doc itself, as we just did. I can click on the pencil and again on the pencil. So now the same thing. So two good points, P-O-I-N-T-S, save. So you'll see that the iPad enables the teacher to be able to have a little bit more flexibility in the way that they can respond to student work digitally. And so again, we're going to hand that back. We'll give her 100% again. 
don't think that's really worth 100%. As before, Amanda, when she logs in, she'll have her paper returned to her. She'll be able to go in there and make additional comments back to the teacher, and so that conversation can continue. So from an assessment perspective, it works really well to um, reinforce that continuing dialogue over time. Anyway, thought you'd like to see how Google Classroom looks on an iPad. Hope you found this useful. Bye.